I guess, right? Beautiful picture. I love this from Dalton. Charles Pettijohn sends us the best pictures from Dalton. He totally represents. Uh, this is harvesting the corn. He said the, uh, there are soybeans on the right there, and they are looking green and might be uh, ready for harvest in a couple of weeks. That's what he said. I'll take his word for it. Also, this is I'm loving tonight. Three degree guarantee. We've been doing it for the past month. Every time we came within three degrees of the forecast high, uh, we put $10 in an account in the jackpot. And so we were uh, got within it 28 days last month in the month of September. So that got $280 and we have a winner. And that winner is big check. Drum roll, please. Amanda P from Tunnel Hill, $280. And the signature meteorologist makes it legal. I signed that myself. That makes it that makes it legal right there. But thank you, Amanda P. We're getting in touch with you. And there you go. It's so easy to do. Uh, all you have to do is just send us, a, or you don't have to send anything. Just go to local3news.com. Uh, uh, click on, you'll have to scroll down, click on uh, dash slash three dash degree and you put in your email address and it's pretty easy two minutes and you're already registered uh, we actually did not make it today uh, 76 was the forecast high it only made it to 72 we had some cooler air sneaking in from the west and that kept the temperature a little bit lower but still we have 20 dollars in the jackpot so still a solid start to october and we will have lots more in it before the month of october is over so make sure you register and you could be the winner next month. 77 is our forecast high. It is forecast to be warmer tomorrow. October 1st, the average high is 80. This is the month we really see it cooling down. 68, the average high by October 31st. We typically lose 63 minutes of daylight and three and a half inches of rain. Just over that is on average what we get. Uh, it is going to be a dry, dry start to the month, though. Cool and dry. Take a look at our temperature trend. Six to ten days out, uh, below normal temperatures. So we do have a cool front that's going to move in toward the end of the week, and that will give us a nice burst of that cooler air moving in for Saturday and Sunday. Drought monitor, no drought conditions, but all of that yellow indi indicates what they call abnormally dry. We do have well below average rainfall in our area, the Chattanooga area. About 60% of uh, average rainfall is what we have seen. So so we could certainly use a few drops here and there. Unfortunately, six to 10 days out, it is going to be abnormally dry still, and we'll see those conditions worsen. Nice and cool outside. Temperatures in the 50s right now, 58 in Chattanooga, and our high today of 72, uh, well below the average high of 79 degrees, 57, our low this morning, exactly where it should be. And we'll take a quick look at our future cast just to show you absolutely nothing. That high pressure is going to stay in contr control through tomorrow into Wednesday on into Thursday. Notice we do have a front that's going to be working its way through Thursday into Friday, and that's going to start to bring in some cooler weather late Thursday. I still think we'll have a high of about 80 on Friday, uh, but behind that on Saturday and Sunday, we'll see a nice burst of cooler air. So overnight, we'll drop all the way down to 50 in Chattanooga. I do think a lot of folks will be in the 40s outside of the city tomorrow morning. So jackets required for the school bus, uh, the bus stop tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, sunny skies, nice outdoor weather. We'll see that wind a little bit lighter than it has been. Uh, lots of sunshine and mid to upper 70s up and down the valley, low to mid 70s in the higher elevations. Our storm alert seven day forecast showing that pleasant weather with gradual warming, but still nice. 81 Thursday, 80 on Friday. We'll have some clouds with that front moving through, maybe a little breezy, but the biggest deal will be that cooler air moving in. We'll go from 80 Friday to 70 on Saturday and look at those lows dropping down into the mid 40s in Chattanooga, uh, upper 30s and low 40s in some of the higher elevations on Sunday and Monday morning. So it will be chilly and highs will stay in the low 70s well into next week.